we have the role that media plays in influencing people and there is one series on Netflix which is 13 reasons why the survey says that it has resulted into increase uh, increased number of suicides among teenagers from 10 to 17 how do you interpret that and what do you make out of it on what there um, is uh, this series uh -huh. it is called 13 reasons why and the story uh, revolves around a lot of teenagers who are committing suicide. committing suicide. Well, I mean, that shows that uh, I think our social fabric is very, not very strong. And uh, our teaching to our second, uh, our children are not very, uh, means uh, there is a, there is a for, I mean, responsibility lies with the parents, responsibility lies with the school teaching as well as responsibility lies with the uh, peer pressure of the uh, children. And that all these three things contribute to the incidence of suicide, including, I mean, peer pressure, which includes the uh, experiment with the drugs and uh, smoking and all sorts of things. So I agree with you. And let's look at very quickly uh, overview of the potential solutions that we have let's say from the point of view of parents, from the family, because that is where um, they learn to formulate how to respond. Well, I mean, uh, parents should be kind of uh, aware of all the activities of the children, particularly the minor children uh, under age 18. And because they are, they are, that's the age where they are very, get very carried away, very get impressed with the uh, outside forces. Uh, and they should know and they, they should, uh, I mean, of, of course, uh, all the parents are, particularly in the country like America, everyone is so busy running after money and running after, uh, you know, their own uh, businesses and so forth. But they, 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 they take it granted that the kids are good. But uh, kids, I mean, even the, um, I'm being a doctor, uh, I can tell you that there is one parents uh, came to me uh, the, the child goes to the very, one of the most uh, uh, number one valedictorian school and child is also very valedictorian but uh, complaint was that all uh, uh, his friends are using the drugs in, in such a, uh, such a uh, good school and then I asked that, uh, so uh, that father was asking me to do something because I have media, I have newspaper, I have TV uh, to do some campaign, so uh, uh, because that uh, the the response of the child was child himself was not doing anything, but chi response of child was he is uh, he says that uh, uh, it's a is is a part of the life, school life, so it means that they all take it uh, as a normal thing, so uh, so it means uh, all this education starts from the school. And uh, uh, and uh, school should be and school authority and and, and uh, local p police authority should be responsible for uh, uh, to stop this uh, kind of uh, widespread use of drugs and alcohol in the in the, that school going children. I think uh, you raised very important points, and this uh, requires multi pronged approach: yes. family, school authorities and all, we are already in a world which is like a village. So there is very little difference uh, many times in terms of the habits of teenagers, whether you look at teenagers in America or in India. And the additional, call that challenge, with the additional facility of uh, smartphones, social media, it is also becoming a sort of hurdle in having clear communication uh, between parents and kids. How do you see the role uh, which social media is playing? Do you see a lot of negative from this side or there are possibilities? And allow me to add Prime Minister Narendra Modi not only has emphasized digital India, he also interacted with kids and this was also one of the questions raised by uh, parent uh, for Prime Minister Modi. Yes, I mean, uh, parent has to be uh, uh, kind of um, not only responsible, but there, there should be a kind of role model playing too. Because uh, if 
you, you can see that. I mean, it's very obvious that, uh, and I have seen in my uh, friend circle, my uh, my relative circle, relatives and uh, even families, that the the father or uh, the the behavior of the father and mother at in the home, right right from respecting each other. Uh, cribbling and quarreling about small small thing and uh, whether consuming alcohol or smoking does affect the children and you see that most of the children those who start uh, smoking and uh, and drinking in early age because the father they see the father is doing it when they were child and then they they they, they kind of uh, consider that this is a normal thing to do or, or right thing to do. Of course, then there's other pressure from the school and peer pressure and all those things and competition with the other uh, friends. But always all this thing, discipline starts from the home. So talking from uh, home uh, point of view and going towards uh, the home where you uh, started connecting with the world and this long election season, until 23rd May, we will have a lot of election speeches and a lot of questions. And um, so recently, again, people are talking um, about overall impact which Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, could generate during his uh, foreign trips. And there were 92 trips and he visited 57 countries. How do you feel uh, when people look at it critically? Was it necessary? Uh, did he uh, do justice uh, to India uh, by all these words, your impression? I think it was absolutely necessary because unless you go out and meet the other leaders of the world, uh, you cannot understand how the world looks at you, right? And that way, uh, and it's very important that your perception in the world has to be corrected if, if there is not, uh, not right. And that's only way you can ha get the help from the world both financially, morally, and socially. So that way, I think, uh, statistically speaking, what we read in newspapers, and I'm referring to Times of India, which is FDI in the last five years um, under Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, was 193 billion dollars foreign direct investment, which is 50 percent higher than the previous five years. Right. So that uh, speaks good about that. Right. Uh, and at the same time. India managed to uh, develop good relations with countries who do not have good relations among themselves. Yes. So, how do you see that as a trait of uh, Prime Minister Modi? It's excellent. I think, uh, I think uh, Prime Minister Modi has brought the India to the world level. Make India, I mean, try to make India as a, one of the world leaders. And, uh, and I think that's a great contribution of uh, Narendra Modi to India. And I'm sure uh, he will get more time next five years probably to to do it. Uh, um, I mean, to bring it from that to the next level. And talking uh, about it from the entrepreneur's point of view, and you, in addition to being a physician and uh, someone who advocates India and uh, active in a lot of charitable um, activities, you know how the corporate world functions. So when people are investing in India, they would go for capital-intensive. Uh, industries. Uh, right. They do not go for labor intensive industries, right. which means there is not as much increase in employment generation as was expected. But that's uh, again, uh, the foreign investment is always capital incentive because they, they, they have a different uh, model of um, business model to work with. While, uh, while uh, so uh, to increase the employment, I think uh, government of the day should start uh, just like what China did. I mean, Ch uh, China did, did, I mean, though the companies are in the Western world, but they, they're all manufacturing is done by China, right? Everything is made in China. And that's how they created the job for their own people. They exactly the same model or same uh, blueprint uh, India, Indian government should follow in order to increase the real employment in, in the India. So, uh, talking about employment's importance in uh, making voters decide uh, where should they cast their vote. So far as we uh, almost are running out of time, Doctor, what has been the most exciting or fascinating feature for you uh, 
in last two three weeks in the election season uh, there were some negatives um, violence in uh, west bengal a positive or uh, sort of interesting involvement of a lot of stars in politics sunny deol joining bjp etc well i think uh, last three weeks four weeks uh, the uh, watching the election back home is a great experience and i think we, uh it's very heartening that more and more people are participating in uh, the exercise of uh, democ democracy and uh, we uh, only uh, with this with a small uh, kind of caveat with that that urban uh, uh, educated people or uh, educated mass of the indian population is kind of little uh, not very they take it granted and they are not participating in as much as they should be um uh, and i think that's not uh, bold a good thing for uh, democracy in long run so everyone whether it doesn't matter whom you vote they should vote they should exercise their franchise and 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 do not take it uh, kind of uh, granted that okay my candidate is going to win so i'm not going uh, whether i go or not doesn't make any difference or my candidate is going to lose so whether i go or not doesn't make any difference so i think that mentality has to go it's very important we hear it again and again and yet it is important to hear it again and apply if you are in a position to cast your vote whether you are in india or in america and as we say goodbye from this uh, edition of uh, this week with dr uh, padmashri dr sir my dr sir your parting uh, remarks my dear friends uh, thank you for joining this week uh, with me and my program uh i would uh, urge each and every one to call your friends and family back home request them to go out and vote wherever they want to vote but please vote uh, that's only way the democracy can live long and thank you again we'll see you next week till then goodbye god god bless america god bless india jai hind thank you And now time for weekly show with a passionate India lover chairman of ITV Gold and Parik Worldwide Media get ready for loving sharing from physician philanthropist publisher and India advocate in this week with Padmashri Dr Sudhir Parik